Hello everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm playing with stencils. I'm going to make 6 cards featuring all the new stencils that have just been released by Altenew. So first I'm going to show you all the stencils and then I'm going to create lots of backgrounds and turn them into cards. This is the Broken Severance stencil. It's one of those really versatile designs that you can use in pretty much any project. This is called Deco Wonder Stencil. It's more complicated and if you like geometric shapes, I'm sure you will love this one. And you can see at the back how it's going to look. Now this is really unique. It's called Heart Builder Stencil. It doesn't look like much, but I'm going to turn the packaging at the back and you can see that if you flip it, it's going to create this heart design and you can combine different colors. You will see this stencil in action just like everything. Now this is a really unique stencil, it's called Illusion Spiral Stencil and I like that you can add your focal point at the center. Of course you can offset the design depending on how you want it to be. Now this is the Ombre Stripes Stencil. You can use it vertically or horizontally. It creates lovely stripes, perfect for any card. And this is the Floral Garden Stencil. If you notice, it has two areas, the top with the flowers and the bottom with the leaves. I'm going to show you the packaging at the back to see the beautiful design. And uh, you can actually ink up the top part with the flower color and the bottom part with green. And you can combine both together to create a beautiful pattern. I'm going to show you how it works right away. Now I have placed my white cardstock underneath the stencil and I have an anchor point, the corner that I'm showing you. When I'm working with stencils that uh, you can flip them to complete the design, then I always like to have an anchor point. It really helps to align the stencil for the second uh, inking. Now there is an area down here where there are a few leaves. You can either ink them uh, as the stencil it is now with green or like I'm going to do here, I'm just going to cover up this area just to make sure that I don't make a mistake and uh, go over them with pink, uh, although I don't want to. Now uh, I'm using worn lipstick. This is Distress Oxide Ink and I'm making sure that I cover up everything. You can leave it as it is if you want to take it a step further. You can always blend the second color like I'm doing here. This time I'm using a sponge dabber just because it is easier for me to go to smaller areas. And the orange shade that I used is Carved Pumpkin, again Distress Oxide Ink. Once you remove your stencil, make sure that it's super clean and then I can go ahead and put it back on top of my card. So here is how it was before and now I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to keep my anchor point and I'm going to align that corner. I'm using some purple tape to make sure that everything is nicely secured there. And now I'm inking all the leaves by using Mode Loan. You can see the beautiful pattern paper that I have created. I will move on to create even more backgrounds and then at the end of this video I'm going to show you how I turn them into cards. So here I'm going to use the Heart Builder stencil. So again, I have an anchor point on one corner. I am going to cover up completely this uh, stencil by using Peacock Feathers. And then I'm going to flip it. Again, making sure that I align it with the corner. And you see that if you place it correctly, it's going to cover up completely the inking that we did at the first step. I'm using Cracked Pistachio for the second step of inking. And of course, if you use Shades of Red, it would make a perfect uh, Valentine's card, but I decided to create a completely different combination of colors. And I think this way my background is more versatile. Here is how my background is looking. I'm going to put it to side and continue playing with the rest of the stencils. For the next background, I'm going to use Broken Chevron stencil and I'm going to apply on top the Altenew embossing paste. This is from the previous release and it's really fluffy super easy to spread out. Instead of completely covering up my panel, I'm just going to add uh, a little bit of paste only at the center. You can of course cover it up completely. I'm going for a more artistic design, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Now I'm going to play with my Illusion Spiral Stencil. I want this card to be really striking. For that I'm working on top of a black panel and I'm going to spray over the stencil with Antique Gold. Of course, just because I don't want to make a mess, I'm working inside the box and I'm going to tilt the box 
to grab the light so you can see how beautiful and shiny it looks. I'm also going to add some splashes just for some extra sparkle. This is really shiny, it's a spray by Altenew and it is my absolute favorite from all the sprays. And here is another way to use your stencils. Here I am applying glimmer paste, any paste that you probably have would work over the stencils. And uh, this is another favorite, I keep using it again and again. It is a lovely color and just because it is transparent, it's going to pick up the color of your background and you will see that it's going to turn into looking golden once it dries just because I have a yellow background. And here is the last stencil in action. This is the Ombre Stripes stencil. Of course, you can ink it up by using different shades of the same color to get that ombre effect, as it is uh, the name implies. But instead, I decided to just use my embossing paste by Altenew, and I'm applying it from the side of uh, the panel towards the center, making sure that I don't cover up again the whole panel. And I'm going to peel off the stencil so you can see the outcome. And here are all the six backgrounds together. I used all the stencils from this release so you can see them in action. And I'm just going to quickly turn them into cards once everything is dry. And with the magic of video editing, here they are all ready to go. Now, when you have such busy backgrounds, you really don't have to do anything uh, complicated on top of your card. So here I just added uh, some uh, gems and a lovely sentiment that says just because it comes from uh, this Altenew stamp set, which is called Fancy Greetings. I absolutely love this stamp set. And that's the sentiment that I used. For the next card, again, the background is super busy, so you don't really need to do anything more. I just cut out the sentiment that says thank you. This is from um, Simon Says Stamp, thank you script, stamp set. And uh, it actually comes with two dies, one that gives you the sentiment and another one that gives you the shadow, the background. And I combined both together, stack them on top of my card, and I added a few gems. You will see close-up photos at the end of this video. Now this is the star card. This is really striking. I cut out a star out of gold mirror cardstock. My sentiment says shine bright and uh, I think it is a great card for graduation since uh, it's uh, this uh, time of the year now. The next one is uh, the one where I did the ombre stripes stencil. Oh, and I forgot to tell you where I got this sentiment. This comes from an MFT stamp set, which is an, from an older collection and it is called... Um, written in the stars. Now, just like always, you will find everything I used for those cards linked down below in case you want to check it out. Now, this uh, beautiful flower comes from the angelic motifs. This is um, a new stamp set from the latest release by Altenew. And here is this uh, beautiful flower. Now, um, this is one of those uh, stamp sets that have uh, a matching stencil and matching dies, and they are layering stamp sets. So all I did was to just stamp with ink and cut it out with the matching dies. Now, here is uh, one of my favorites from this stash of cards. I absolutely love the dimension of this flower. Now, the flower is cut out just by using cardstock. The dies are from um, this stamp set. This is one of their built uh, flower collection stamps and it's called Sakura Blossom. This is from an older release. I don't really know if that's available, but I absolutely love the dies because you don't really need to combine them with the stamping. And the, that's in fact what I did for this card. Now my sentiment says you make my heart happy and it comes from the weekend doodles. And I tried to mix and match many stamps and sentiments from different releases. This way you can uh, see more products in action, but at the same time you can get an idea and see in your stash if you have something similar. Now finally this is really sparkling. I don't know if the camera catches how sparkling this is, but uh, for such a background all you need to do is to just add a sentiment. For that I went with thinking of you, just because it is quite big and it really makes a statement. So here are all the cards that I made for today, featuring the six stencils that Altenew has just released. This is part of a blog hub with lots of giveaways, so make sure to visit my blog to enter the giveaway and learn all about the details. I hope you had fun today and that you got inspired to create cards with uh, stencils. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I'll see you all next time.